Miss Henderson, I appreciate you inquiring about the job. That said, you are not qualified for the job. While you have impressive credentials in science education you lack the credentials in nuclear engineering. I want the job. I am perfectly capable of operating in an engineering field. Don't act like you are better than me. I am not acting like that I am better than you. I cannot trust someone who is unqualified. This is not a matter if I am better than you. Please leave because I have another job interview. You people are the reason that this country stopped being great. You are probably a communist democrat trying to harm our youth. I will make you pay. That is it. Leave or I call the cops. Get the fuck out of here you crazy bitch. Fine then but I will make you pay for not giving me what I was entitled to. Evacuation immediate. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Salem County Sheriff's Department and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. An explosive device of a known type was detonated at the Hope Creek Nuclear Generating Station. This explosion has caused the core to destabilize. Radiation leaks are taking place. The entire population of Salem County is in immediate danger. Everyone must evacuate the county now. When evacuating only take essential supplies. These supplies include, but not limited to, non-perishable food, bottled water, a first aid kit, a battery powered, or hand crank radio with extra batteries, clean clothing, emergency money and identification. Contraflow has been enacted on all roads leading into and out of the county. Public transportation will cease normal scheduling to assist in evacuation efforts. Our pool if possible. If you cannot evacuate, call 911 and you will be assisted. Tie a blue cloth to your mailbox to indicate that you heeded the evacuation order. Do not attempt to pick up friends or family from schools, hospitals or nursing homes. These facilities have their own evacuation procedures. Please listen to all instructions given by authorities. Shelters in adjacent counties have been opened. Those outside the evacuation zone getting this alert should take shelter indoors now. This message will repeat. nuclear power plant warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Goodhue County Department of Emergency Management and Homeland Security in conjunction with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. A super terrorist attack has taken place at the Prairie Island nuclear power plant. This attack has caused both reactors to severely overheat. Radiation leaks are confirmed. A nuclear meltdown followed by a major explosion is expected to take place in under 20 minutes. Everyone in Goodhue County should take immediate shelter. You are advised to go to the most interior portion of a building blocked by multiple walls and no windows. Seal cracks in your shelter with duct tape or damp towels, shut off heating, and ventilation systems gather enough food and water to last at least 14 days. Place as much space between you and the outside world as possible. Once a meltdown takes place all water sources will become contaminated. Do not leave your shelter for 14 days or until relief workers rescue you. Be sure to have a battery-powered radio with extra batteries to obtain updates for when the power goes out. Monitor local media outlets for further information. Civil danger warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Arizona National Guard. 
the Arizona Mills building in Tempe has been destroyed by a very large bomb. Authorities conclude that this bomb had radioactive materials in it. The explosion has began the spread of radioactive fallout. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear reactions. Fallout is deadly and causes radiation sickness. Radiation sickness leads to death within several days. You are advised to take cover in a sturdy building now. Be sure to hide either in the basement or the most interior portion of a building. Place as much space between you and the outside world as possible. Gather enough non-perishable food, water and medical supplies to last you at least 14 days. Be sure to have a battery-operated radio with extra batteries to obtain updates in the event of power outage. Emergency services are on scene to get people into shelters and to put out the fire. Do not leave your shelter for 14 days or until an all-clear statement is given. This event is likely related to the nuclear power plant attacks in New Jersey and Minnesota. The Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department of Homeland Security are investigating these events as a coordinated terrorist attack. Death tolls are not yet known. Stay tuned for further information. Civil Danger Warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Albany Police Department. A hostage crisis has begun at the Walmart Supercenter on 141 Washington Avenue Extension. Several women have taken both the staff and shopper hostage. These women are described as being middle-aged with short blonde hair. According to law enforcement these women are saying that they will detonate a powerful nuclear weapon if anyone tries to storm the building. They claim that the same applies to anybody who tries to leave the city. Civilians are ordered to remain indoors. Take all precautions against nuclear attack. Go to the lowest portion of your home, ideally a basement. Seal cracks in your shelter with duct tape or damp towels. Place as much space between you and the outside world as possible. Have a battery-powered radio with extra batteries in the event of power outage. Gather enough non-perishable food, water and medical supplies to last at least two weeks. Do not leave your shelter until an all-clear is given. Authorities are attempting to prevent the situation from escalating. Please stay tuned for further information. administrative message. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Albany Police Department. This is an update to the Walmart hostage crisis and nuclear threat. Authorities confirmed that the supposed nuclear weapon is real, but thankfully was a dud. SWAT teams have rescued the hostages and secured the unexploded nuclear weapon. In addition the women responsible have been taken into custody. The Department of Homeland Security has determined that these women were part of an extremist group known as the Sisters for a Greater America or Saga. The Saga organization is comprised of suburban women in their early 40s to late 50s. Almost all of them have short haircuts and act entitled. These women are also known in the pejorative sense, a Karen. They are known to harass ethnic minorities which are mostly African American. They believe that all media they find offensive should be banned. They are known for starting senseless fights over trivial topics. They support the authoritarian policies of former President Donald Trump and are known for sending hate mail to media outlets. If you see anybody matching the description of Saga members or witness suspicious activity, call 911 and do not approach. Stay tuned for further information. This is an emergency warning. 
The current threat level is emergency which means an emergency is taking place and you should take action now to ensure your safety. A nuclear detonation has taken place in Perth. The entire city and everything in a 80 kilometer radius has been destroyed. High wind speeds are causing nuclear fallout to spread across the country. Fallout is a byproduct of a nuclear reaction. Fallout is deadly and causes radiation sickness. Radiation sickness leads to death within several days. Clouds of fallout will reach the rest of the country in the next three hours. Take the following precautions to protect your life. Retreat to a basement or interior room without windows and limited ventilation. Shut off heating and ventilation systems. Seal cracks in your shelter with duct tape or damp towels. Get a battery-powered radio with extra batteries to obtain updates in the event of power outage. Gather enough non-perishable food, water and a first aid kit to last at least two weeks. Do not leave your shelter until an all-clear is given. The reason behind the nuclear explosion has been confirmed to be a black market deal gone bad. Authorities confirm that this event is related to the ongoing terrorist campaign carried out by the Sisters for a Greater America or Saga in the United States. The Australian Department of Defence is working with both American and Canadian authorities to bring down Saga. Keep your television or radio turned on and await for further information. Civil danger warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Enrico Fermi Nuclear Generating Station in Monroe, the Donald C. Cook Nuclear Power Plant in Bridgeham and the Palisades Nuclear Power Plant in South Haven have all went into meltdown. Hackers associated with the Sisters for a Greater America have sent large swarm of computer viruses against the nuclear power plants. Everyone in Monroe County, Van Buren County, Allegan County and Berrien County should seek immediate shelter. Retreat to a low-level interior room away from windows. Shut off heating and ventilation systems. Seal cracks in doors and windows with duct tape or damp towels. Gather enough food and water to last two weeks. Be sure to have a battery-powered radio to obtain updates in the event of power outage. And do not go outside. Authorities confirm that Saga members are going around and killing people that they think are against them. Saga members are described as having short blonde hair, act entitled and are prone to reacting violently to speech they view as an insult. These women are also known as Karens. You are advised to avoid anyone matching this description. This message will repeat. This is not a test. Repeating, this is not a test. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. Nuclear warheads have been launched from hijacked nuclear submarines. 20 nuclear submarines have been hacked by Saga members. Each submarine is confirmed to be carrying five intercontinental ballistic missiles each. The strength of these missiles are unknown. In addition a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Washington DC the president and everyone in the line of succession has been killed. The designated survivor is in a secure location, and will speak on all stations shortly. The Department of Defense is unable to confirm the trajectory of the missiles. It has been confirmed that North Korea, China, Cuba, and Russia have launched their own nuclear weapons against the United States, Canada, Mexico, the United Kingdom, France, and Japan. Nuclear war has officially begun. This has been the endgame for the Saga organization. Everyone must get to underground shelter immediately.
keep as much space between you and the outside world as possible, gather enough food and water to last at least two years, turn off heating and ventilation systems, seal cracks in your shelter with duct tape or damp towels, do not use water outside your shelter due to contamination, have a battery powered or hand crank radio with extra batteries to obtain official information and instructions. Updates will be available on emergency channels 9 and 19. Nuclear winter status will take hold in the next several days. The United States Armed Forces will secure shelters and hospitals to assist the injured. Do not expect help from emergency services. Take cover now.